It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Detroit Lions on Monday Night Primetime. Downtown between Brush Street and I-375. That's where we're located in the heart of Detroit at Ford Field, which first opened back in 2002. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Detroit Lions. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Ford Field. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And look at this. Right away, a loose football. And it looked like he was able to get it back. So a big sigh of relief there as that would have been a disastrous way to start this ball game. I didn't do this in college, but I did it in high school. When you return kicks <laughs> and you lose it yourself, the panic that goes through you and the determination to get the ball back, I don't even know how to describe it. And I think we just saw an example there. Yeah, and the relief when you get it back <laughs> like he did. Yeah, you go to the sidelines, you know you're going to get yelled at, but you can handle it because you got the ball back. Opening play, and Goff wants to pass it. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 19 yards right off the bat, and a quick first down. Amon Ross St. Brown set a Lions rookie record with 912 receiving yards, and over 60% of those came in the final six games of the season. He got better and better as the campaign rolled on. And when they went to him like he was their top receiver, he produced like it as well. And he certainly earned that spot here in his second year, and he gets a first down for Detroit. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A play fake for Swift, now golf. And that'll be caught with St. Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. So we just called his name on the previous snap, and they go right back to him, Charles, for a second consecutive completion. Yeah, I think what we're discovering on this drive is that he feels like he has answers no matter what defense you throw up there. He reads it, finds the open spot, and is available for the completion. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Golf. 
toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game. It has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again is gone. Open man is Quintez Cephas. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 33. A really nice pickup of 14 yards and it moves the sticks. Heck of a start for him here, Charles, on this opening drive, and they're doing it all through the air. That's four snaps and four passes so far. I do think that there's an argument, Brandon, to maybe mix in a running play or two, but the way that these offenses are constructed, you can get that done with swing passes and check downs. The way they're throwing it, I'd keep pressing it downfield. On first down, gone. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Goff now looks to throw. They're connecting here with D.J. Sharp. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 18. 15 yards there on the catch and run. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll run for the first time with DeAndre Swift. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Give the tackle to Hassan Reddick. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Right back to Swift again on second down. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball in this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range, no sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. On fourth down, Goff departs, and Austin Seibert is out there for the Lions' field goal now. Seibert's kick is good, and the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. Well, given where they started that opening drive, CD, I think to get three out of it, probably a pretty good start that they'll take. I think you're exactly right about that because they just shook off the effects of the kickoff in field position and took the ball and moved it downfield. Didn't pay off with a touchdown, but that drive, that was really nice for them, and they did come away with three points. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Now for the first time, we get to see this Philadelphia offense led out by their dual-threat quarterback now in his third season, Jalen Hurts. Tremendous production in college at two different universities. And this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 21. 
They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Looking sideline incomplete. Devontae Smith, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. From the 21, it's second and 10. Hurd's going to keep it again. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. He's able to call his own number for eight that time, but it leaves him with a third down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get, so he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Here's Hurts to throw. Got it complete to Rodgers. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. Tackle there by Alex Anzalone. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Another run with Sanders. Dances by him. And he gets it down to the 32. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Hurts. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. Nice job there forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. A give running left. It's Sanders. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Have to give credit for a nice play there, but also have to look at it as a blown assignment. He became a free runner that turned into a free hitter. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. 
Now back to throw. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. So it's a gain of 12 there on the reception, and that'll bring up fourth down. But don't tell any defensive coordinator I played for, but that might be considered a win for both teams because defensively they stopped them short and forced the fourth down, but offensively they picked up enough yards to give their kicker a better shot if that's what they want to do. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. And this a 39-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good, and that'll do it for the first quarter of play. 3-3, a tight one after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. Taken at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Now Goff on first down. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Goff. And this one taken in by Cephas. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Goff on third down. It's caught by Funches. And he is going to have a Lions first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short. Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To the air again, Goff. Dancing to his left. And incomplete on the deep ball. As quarterbacks like to do, he pushed it downfield on that throw. But I think that since he was outside the pocket and there was open space, it would have been a good time for his first carry of the game. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Goff now looking to throw. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter, it's a good running back dive play. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. 
Goff throwing again. The open man is Shark. It's complete. Well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. How about a 39-yard pickup? They'll take it. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Here's gone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. On the Ross St. Brown. 26 yards. And the Lions have taken the lead. The fly route works for the TD Brown. And you know what the receivers love to say? If we get even with the defender, we're leaving. And that's exactly what he did all the way into the end zone. And then he was on the business end catching it once he got over the strike. Austin Seibert on for the extra point. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10-3 now. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So back onto the field. Here come the Eagles for their second drive. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. His hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Fast footwork by Sanders. And they got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. And even 30 yards on a play that began back at the 30. You know, I have a pretty good friend, Charles Davis, who tells me that when he sees plays like that, strong runs to the right, reminds him of the 1960s Green Bay Packers. Boy, those were the days back when the fullback actually carried the ball as well as blocked. Then you had a halfback. You had pulling guards, guys who could get out and run. And you can hear the great coach saying it back then. So we get a seal here and a seal here. And we run this play right in the alley. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. They'll go again with Sanders. And some room to run now. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 62 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Just a terrific run there, Charles, from a running back who is so compact and powerful, and that strength was on display there. Yeah, and that's a run born out of ferociousness. He took on that initial contact and in his mind just screamed, out of my way, and kept right on going and wound up turning it into a big play. On first and ten, it's Sanders. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That was a really nice play, being able to stack that one up. But they get back in the huddle. He's got to he's got to tell his guys up front. Great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one yard gain. On 
on second and nine. Hurts. And he's got it. Touchdown. Quez Watkins. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles are an extra point away from evening this one up. Partner, remember that old film of Peyton Manning going through the route tree with his great receivers in Indianapolis? I think we're seeing the results of the same type of work here today. These guys know each other so well, they don't even have to call the play. They can just look each other and know the route that's going to be run, and usually the connection is perfect. Elliott good on the extra point, and we are even at 10 apiece. So that drive spanned five plays. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. now at 10 apiece as the kicks away. Fields it right around the goal line. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. And that one is his second fumble loss. Not a good look out of your return man. And not only does he hurt the momentum for his team or even change momentum of the game, but now they've got a decision to make on his own sideline. Does he continue to do that? Do you, do you keep him in that role, or do you bring someone else in at this time? And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football. Oh, well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked by the former Lion, Darius Slay. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A dime look defensively for the Lions on third. They'll set up to throw. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. 
Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Wide open receiver complete. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. That puts him in excellent position. First and goal after a gain of 19. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Flush to his right. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts punching it in from a yard away. And the Eagles will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Elliott on for the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. Five plays there on that drive, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Lions now taking over late in this first half. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone could potentially tie this game up. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That one complete. He finds Sharp. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. They'll come up now on second and a yard. A shotgun snap for Gaw. They'll get this one to the Golden Domer, St. Brown. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now a first down throw, gone. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. They'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing again is gone. 
And he'll get this into the hands of Swift once again. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Let's go! So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. And it bangs off the left upright and deflects away. It's no good. And this will stay at a seven-point game. So plenty of leg, but it's the accuracy there that lets him down. Yeah, he hit it really well. I think this might have been good from 55. But you'll see it just conk off that upright. And they're denied a chance at three points. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. And now this throw incomplete, and that is how this first half will come to an end. So we've reached halftime here, and it's our visitors, the Eagles, leading this one. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. First things first, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for Philadelphia. And even though they've got a halftime lead, they're likely devising ways as we speak to try and get a little more production from their passing game. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. This fielded right at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. To throw again on second down. Hurts. Out route pass complete to Goddard. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way. Work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner? Safety? Linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Buying time to his left. And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. The Eagles send out their punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team.
Good coverage there holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And the Lions will take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he is going to lose yardage here. Hassan Reddick coming through with a stop there and a tackle for loss to boot. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They'll run the draw here with Swift. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it will be Eagles football first and 10. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach... Can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. On the option, it'll be Hurts. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A good chunk on the ground on the keeper. 17 yards, first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. But first down, Hurts. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Hurts. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. 
He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser-focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. Play action. Here's Hertz. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Jared Davis in to drop him behind the line for a loss of a yard. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, it still definitely hurts. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. It's kind of an interesting decision. One score game, third quarter. What do you do? Yeah, I'm willing to go out on the limb on this one and go for it. Here's why. If I set it up right now and go get the touchdown, I'm in firm control of this ball game, and my team has a ton of confidence. If I don't get it, hey, I rely on my defense. And if somehow they go downfield on me and score, so be it. I want to be in control and in firm control right now. Going for it with Sanders. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. A one-yard touchdown run for Miles Sanders. And the Eagles' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Well, this defense held out as long as they could, but ultimately the running game wears them down from the one-yard line. And that gets set up throughout the entire drive, doesn't it? And when you put those big bodies and determination into that carry, the end result, touchdown. Elliott now to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Another shot now for this Lions offense. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now? Is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 27. Now Goff. Right side, it's the tight end, Hawkinson. 
And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. That's on the tackle, Panay Sewell. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Here's Goff. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him, and, and what a lot of teams do, They'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on him man-to-man -to, -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. So that one will get him halfway to the first down marker. Seven yards makes it third and seven now. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Throwing on third, golf. And that will be incomplete. I would dare say that these guys would have liked to have given their defense a little bit more rest since they gave up a touchdown their last time out. But the last one, man, that's not going to happen. Yep, they're going to have to grab those helmets, get right back out there. Here comes the Lions punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. 47 yards on the punt that time, just one yard on the return. And the Eagles will have it, taking over first and 10. Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, is it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the... And oh, he coughed it up! And this is scooped up by the Lions. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. So potentially a turning point here in the third quarter as that swings the door back open just a bit. Yeah, they're still down two scores, but I do think we're at that point in the game where you're going to reach for the football whenever possible. You're going to hear the coaches scream from the sidelines. Tackle him. Second guy in. Tackle the ball. Following the fumble recovery, Goff. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. It's the Lions trailing, but with possession of the football as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. Now we're at the 41, second and nine. Now gone. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. They're able to convert with a gain of four. 
Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Once again, it's Swift. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll fake the give. Now Goff. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 14. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that earns him a fresh set of downs. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Go off a handoff here to Swift. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Goff now looks to throw. Looking for Hawkinson, and he's got him. Touchdown, Detroit. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Lions have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Cybert on for the PAT. He's got it, and it's 24-17. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was T.J. Hawkinson who finished the drive with a touchdown reception. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. Now, Charles, of course, you got to remember, last possession they fumbled, it led to a touchdown. One score game here, got to be careful. And this is where coaching and training really comes into play, doesn't it? What, is it? what does everyone say after an error? Next play, move on, next drive. That mantra has to come to the front. They've got to take care of business right here and act like the last series just didn't happen. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll start with a handoff to Sanders. And he lost the football. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Second and short now following the fumble. On the option left, it's Hurts. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. 
A gain of eight on the keeper and a first down. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him. He's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone that's the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. Yeah, that'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. Here's Hurts to throw. And this is caught by Watkins. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Three yards to go on second down, and they've got three tight ends out there. Jumbo set. Throwing his hurts. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 27-yard line. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And quickly we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, we'll likely put an end to this thing. Another run here with Sanders. The Lions now are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. Hurts sets up to throw it. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down in bounds, toe tapping and drag it to make sure he gets it done. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll run with Sanders, and he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll go option to the short side. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown! Philadelphia Jalen Hurts his second touchdown of the night and the Eagles have opened up a two touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter well Charles he's already proven that he's not afraid to tuck that football down on the option and he's into the end zone for the second time in the game that's exactly what you need from your quarterback 
the ability to run the ball fearlessly. And in fact, many quarterbacks will tell you running the football doesn't scare them. Standing in the pocket and taking blindside hits, that's what terrifies them. Elliott good with a PAT and a lead now up to 14. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays, and a nine-yard run on the end of it. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. So Jared Goff in the offense. Down by two touchdowns. A minute 39 to go. Field goals, useless at this point. They need two touchdowns, and they need them in short order. Now Goff on first down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. This offense has had its troubles moving the ball all night. So now you get in this situation, hard to imagine that suddenly they're going to start clicking and moving the ball downfield. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Back to throw, Goff. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked by the former Lion, Darius Slay. And the Eagles will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And still a little bit of time left, but the defense can't stop the clock. So three kneel downs should be enough to finish this one off. And we'll see if the defense wants to stop it as they take the knee. It's a second down run with Sanders. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. It doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Hurts down to one knee, and that should just about do it. And for the visitors, it is going to be a happy flight home. It is always such a treat, Charles, in the NFL when you can go on the road and get a victory, and that's exactly what they accomplished here today. Oh, the trip home so much sweeter, isn't it? All the noise they heard before, how tough it is to win on the road, how tough it is to play in this stadium, how hyped up that crowd's going to be. They just used it as fuel, came in full confidence, believed in themselves, and got it done.